All right, welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy 16. We are back in the hideaway. Probably about to get invaded because we had a snitch following us, but. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick. We'll get back to that a little bit later, but we'll as always, we got we got side quest. We got side quest. Message. What what we got going on here? That's all gone. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <sighs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. Do, 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 do. As it won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Why is everything in this wine field? The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Rucksack. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. <laughs> The lost supplies. Waiting for the ambush. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. We've come this far. Might as well ask around. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Those doggies. I don't even, even looking remember to be coming here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. It was dark though last time we were here. Everything looks different in the daytime. Did Master Quint in 
Just like your one night stand from the other day. But it'll be an age before the stink's gone from my skirts. Oh dear. Oh dear. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. Don't you bark at me. Enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Yeah. Barking at his love earlier. All right, FedEx, let's go. Own up to... oh, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you um... found the things you dropped. I did. <laughs> I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter. Only a little worse for wear. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me, then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about curse-breaker business? <sighs> If only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. Dang, learn something new. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Fuck, I want more. More money at the entrance. I bet she says daughter's a missile. That's <laughs> just it's speculating. Fabulous. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Ooh. New stuff at the forge and the stores. Gotta check that out. But 
How did the grocer know his dog? What can I interest you in today? Keep fighting the good fight. Sun's setting fast. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter? Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Can I have another cup, Daddy? Dude, that's so far away. Uh, how many have I had? <laughs> <laughs> that guy's all of us. <laughs> oh, five dollars to get out of here. Okay. All right, Randall, what are you doing, dude? Where's my doji? Just sprint, please. Are you all right? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Slay the beast men. I got it. Hello, beastman. Why am I not surprised? Get him, boy! Give them all you've got. There, boy. Oh, what the heck? You know what to do, boy.
Oh, come on. I want to practice my parries, dude. All these attacks that I can't parry. See why no one will do it. Have issues with these guys. Oh, Randall's dead. Got some bad news for you, man. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave, though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work, and he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And... I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Okay, now we we'll go back to Chiron. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Speaking of Oriflam... I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires bore bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. 
We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, buddy. Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Ah, oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Quick look. Aww. So these are kind of like side quests, side quests. I'll do one. Let's see what happens. Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So. Will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. So you're the new arrivals. 
Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Like high end mercenary relegated to gathering food. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry, we've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me, it's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Hopefully this will be enough. <laughs> Bread and wine. Breakfast of champions. We just need some cheese, and then we'll be a solid French man. Don't tell me. Turnips for supper. Brother, did you... <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Ooh, a gill bug. Oh, I, 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 I told myself that I wasn't going to do it, but it's literally right here. And I can't ignore the icon. Can't ignore it! Gotta go. I wish that these, sub, these side quests were a little bit more uh, substantial. They offered a little bit more of an ending, but you know. Master Quinton will never... I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up, and little wonder... This will be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right, I'll see to it. 
Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Back at the vineyard again. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Seems like the items refresh every single time you come in. Recklessly throwing fire attacks. No big deal, right? <laughs> no chance of burning anything down. No chance! Get him with the ice. That's enough. Close to leveling up. Looks like that was the last of them. I might go back to Tom's and read up exactly what the hell a bear is. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Druge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> no, no, my stock. It's, I, I'll do it eventually. Let's just go continue this main quest right now. Actually, let me, uh, I want to go, <laughs> I said I'm not going to get distracted. I want to go to Tomes and read up exactly what a bearer is. Oh yeah, there's also a smithy. Make it quick. What'd you want? Wow, just, ooh. Should last you a good while. Flame tongue. Anything else? I like the red theme we got going on these days. I like it. All right, go to Tom's. Read up on bears. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. And how might this old soul live?
If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Okay. Just means that they can cast magic without a crystal. You are always welcome, Clive. Gotcha. Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? Gov. Well, well, well. So boy. In a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. <sighs> Off we go. Damn green icon man just taunting me. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Dude, I was... Wait. Oh, I should just travel to this obelisk here. Next gen lens flares, let's go! Way level up after this fight. That's <laughs> easy, easy. Yo, I pay attention, guys. I pay attention. The sword looks sick, though. I wonder if, for, like, for the rest of the game, all the swords we pick up will always be red. Gotta match that drip, yo.
moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Lady, you are making me feel super uncomfortable right now. <laughs> you say he's a wolf from Dalmatia. Fruits not getting any fresher. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth! That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice.
And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. All the information is always at the brothel. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question... I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust, and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Ooh, 1200. I should probably start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. To no, so many quests. <laughs> Stay focused, stay focused. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Well then, I suppose you're... 
probably do the side quest at the beginning of the next episode, I think. That's the date on that. Yeah. Lots of stuff to do. I heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. <laughs> Compliance. War is the last village on the road to Oriflam. <gasps> Threatened to take a man. I know where I'm headed. Threatened to take a man's access to the local brothel and he will fall to his knees. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. We're walking, we're walking. Gotta do some ability upgrades as well. Got a whole whack of whack of them. Oriflan, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? That low FPS. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Flopping more than at more than ten frames per second now. Just gotta get a little bit closer. anything wow dude thanks for nothing weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon you don't think he's a deserter do you The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. 
Is he still here? The traitor? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach. At the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which she <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. Okay. This way? Gotta explore some ruins apparently. It smells of death here, Togo. have been busy but the blood is long dry so it is you Tatian if that's true then the body next to hers will be Yannick's the girl Yannick went off to sea every night you said her name was Tatian you did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. 
thinks she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to Moor for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Pretty lady, but with a bad ending. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. A message that you are still in one piece I see you will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived they said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here thank you but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me I was on my way to see you 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 found her then My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Quest completed. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil. Counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. I guess we go up that ridge. Okay, okay. All right, I can't, I can't let this slide. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna call up so right here. At the beginning, of the next one, we'll wrap up some of these uh these five side quests and then then we'll proceed with the storyline hopefully they will provide us with some narrative gratification but yeah if you made this far thumbs up really appreciate it and we'll play together very very soon